Welcome back everybody to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and I bring you Snooker, the 1984 Visions version on the Commodore 64. This was uh, pay requested by William, YouTuber William Harrison. Hello mate, how you doing? I hope you're okay. Thank you very much for your request. Uh, let's have a look who actually published or programmed this game. It was well, it was published by Visions, as I said, and it was programmed by Tom Bell, and it went for six pound ninety five back in nineteen eighty four for this. And I've heard nothing but crap about this version, this game. Now, if any of you have followed my channel or channels, you'll know that I'm um, I am a snooker player, so I've been playing for nearly forty years. So I was very interested to seeing what this game is like, and. Um, I could be swallowing that um, that thought right now. I've played Steve Davis. The ultimate 8-bit computer snooker game for me was Steve Davis Snooker. Um, that was brilliant on the Spectrum. That really was a nice little bit of coding, that. But this, ugh, well, we'll see. Um, let's have a look. Number of players, one. So I'm playing by myself. So let's play for practice again. Do I want a 15 ball? Yes, of course. Place the white ball in the circle. Right, there. Now normally, as you can see, those balls are far too out. There's no way you can put a uh, left-hand side to come off this cushion, that cushion, between the pink and blue, and up there. Impossible. So we're just going to whack it with full power. And the way to do that, you keep your finger on the fire button, and then at the same time, in the bottom right-hand corner, you see a box with spin. And if you want to put top or bottom, you've got to keep down. So I'm going to put some screw on it. You've got to do both at the same time. And I've walloped that pack of reds. And I've basically almost <laughs> re-triangled, reset the reds. That was a full pout. And it did nothing. It hardly did anything. Let's put top spin on it. Again, those reds should have been scattered all over the table. You can hardly see the white ball against this horrible lime, very pale lime green beige and background. It's the white, but you can hardly see it. Let's smash them up again. Let's put some top right. And a bit of blue. It was nowhere near that. Crash, bang, wallop. The accuracy of this cursor um, doesn't exist. I mean, it's, it works the same way as Steve Davis Snooker. You can just get it up here. But the trouble is, unlike Steve Davis Snooker, this doesn't actually... I hit the other side of that red. And the cursor was on the other side of the red. Work that out. Right. Let's go into this pack. Screw it. Give it a good whack. It's not like it was programmed on the typing mate look at so those two reds just stopped just dead look at that I, I hit it harder than Alex Higgins now this would normally be a dead cert this would be on Snoo on Steve Davis snooker that is a dead cert right there just about no not quite it's come back a bit uh, about there that's pretty much a dead cert and I like to see how far out this is going to be Oh, nowhere near. Am I actually going to put this? In? This definitely would be a dead cert. About there. No. That, oh. Sound effects are terrible. Lame. How the bloody hell did the white come back off that? I put top spin on it. I didn't put screw back on it. Uh, God. I don't think I'm even going to pop one ball here. I mean, that's terrible green. 
you you just can't see the white. It's terrible. And I was on the other side of the red as well. This is just literally pot luck. You you the cursor doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It doesn't aim anywhere near where you want it to. You're smashing the reds open. Unlike Steve Davis Snook on the Spectrum, you you whack those reds open and they fly all over the table. This is like playing snooker with balls, the weight of uh, bowling balls. And it's just clipped that other red, it's not even gone in. I don't think I'm even going to sink a red in this game. Nearly seven pound for this. <laughs> God. Seven pound. Seriously. I wonder if that would have gone in if that other red wasn't there. I just can't get any reds in. I'm just if I get a red in it's gonna be pure luck. Right. Oh dear, come on. Just give me a red over the pocket. Let us see what it's like when you pot a red. And I get a chance to get a colour. Now look, there's a straight red. Here. And this would be just a little trickle. And this is going to go nowhere near, is it? It's going to go nowhere near it. See, I knew it. I just knew it. You've basically just got to hit reds around the table and just get lucky. And maybe one eventually go in. Wait, well, look, there's a red, a sitting duck here, and I better get nowhere near it. Look at this. There's a red right there. And again, you can hardly see the white. Uh, let's go. Get in! Bloody hell, will one of you get in? Is this a three ball plant? <laughs> I probably very much doubt it. Yay, I got a red. <laughs> wow, I got a red. Select your colour. Right, what do I want? There's nothing on, is there? The blue's tied up. I can't get to the black. The green. Where's the yellow? I can't even see. It's so bad you can't even see the... Where is the yellow? I think it's colour clashed. Can anyone point out <laughs> where that yellow is? I can see the green, which is near the bolt cushion, along with the pink. I guess that's the brown. Where is the yellow? Oh, there it is. God, you can hardly see it. It's right... If you look at the table, the cushion's near the top of the screen. Two, two cushions. It's the cushion on the left, and it's on the side cushion. You can hardly see it right next to the red. You can hardly see it. So the yellow is technically on. So... Okay, we go for the yellow. That way all of you guys will know where I'm on about. Right, we go for yellow. It's here. <laughs> I don't know if any of you can see that. And this is probably going to go way off. It's, how can it hit the jaw? And now I pot a red when I don't want to. This is awful. <laughs> this is awful game. Oh, blimey. Right, next red. See, there's a red still in the bloody pocket. Or is that hanging over? <laughs> I don't know. It's not there now. <laughs> I've gone straight into the centre pocket. Well, that worked out, right? If that red was there, it would have gone in. Place the white. Uh, all right, we'll do it. Let's do it there, shall we? Uh, yeah, let's do it there. And then we'll aim for here and screw it away where that white is and pot luck. 
No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. This is absolutely unplayable. Completely unplayable. That wasn't bad. That was pretty close. Great, thank you. I was going to go for a flipping plant there. I if I still can. And now the blue's going over the where the plant was. Great. You're telling me I've covered everything. I can't see a single pot. Nothing goes. Ridiculous. Just swing at it. Screw it. Right, got one over the pocket here. If you think I'm going to play this frame all the way through, um, you got very much mistaken, and many of you will be glad to hear that, I'm sure. <sighs> Cursor is way off. It's way off. Why are you going that way? <laughs> it's just... Oh, my word, this is terrible. It just doesn't correspond to what you want to do. And that's hit the blue. I wasn't even aiming at the blue. The cursors... It's, it reminds me of these dodgy bastards at your fairground. You know, where, they, where they've where uh, they fucked around with the, with the uh, gun sight and you're shooting the target. You know they fucked around with the gun sight. It's probably off by about half an inch, at least. This reminds me, it's like they've programmed this. <laughs> William, even as a snooker player, mate, I cannot play this game anymore because it's it you can't you can't aim for anything. Nothing's in line. You can't I don't mind missing. But only when the cursor's straight and the cursor's true, then I've misjudged the angle, but this is not the case. See, look, there's one right over the pocket there. Look. Now, Steve Davis Snooker would be there. Boom, straight in. Straight in. Hey, I did get one. Right. And again, no colours available. Um, I said the yellow is still on that cushion. Oh, no, it isn't. Where has it gone? I've got to find it now. Can't find the yellow again. Oh, yeah, it's right in this near the green pocket. God, this is a terrible choice of colour table. This particular green, you can't see the yellow. You can hardly see the white. Uh, I'm going to go for black. Which is over here. And I'm going to be nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. I'm going to deliberately go nowhere near it. No. There's the yellow. You can see it when it went over the red, uh, over the red bulk line. I don't think I want to play this anymore. I don't think I'm going to bother. I think that will do me, William. I think we have sussed out what this game is. It is absolute crap. Right, it's one over there. Let's just try and pop this one, and that'll do. Oh, that was bloody yellow. You couldn't see the yellow. The yellow was... Oh, this is awful. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I'm not playing this anymore. You, you, there's no fairness to it. You, you're, you're literally shooting snooker in the dark. You've got a dodgy cursor, which doesn't line up properly. You've got a yellow you can't even see, a white you can barely see. And every time you aim the cursor, it's about a centimetre off. What a load of rubbish. It's nearly £7. I bet everyone was gunning for this because 1984, Snooker was fucking red hot on the television. It was on the television all the time. It was a major fucking sport. Um, nothing, you know... Back then, don't forget, we only had, in Britain anyway, we only had sort of four or five channels, whatever. And it was on a lot. It was a major 
sport. It was such a popular sport, and everyone was playing it, even in down your local pub, uh, you, down your local clubs. So I bet when this came out, C64, and it's well, finally a snooker game, and went and got this, and oh my word. Uh, if you want to play a snooker game on an 8-bit computer, ZX Spectrum, Steve Davis snooker. You can't get better than that. That's a phenomenal piece of coding. It plays extremely well really does and the screw back works properly the the cursor works properly the aim everything is works right the balls scatter like they should it's very good this is just absolute cheap one pound 99 garbage should have been in a bargain bucket probably was a week later how can you sell this for 6.95 it's garbage and apparently there's three reds on the floor over there look <laughs> yeah they're on the floor no one's picking them up terrible uh, well, for the price tag alone, there's no doubt about it. I've said all the negatives. There's no positives. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm going to give that 90... 90... 90. I'm going to give that 90 shits. 90 shits. Um, it shouldn't have spoiled a price tag of that amount. That's just um, inexcusable. If any of you programmers, well, there's only one of you, wasn't there? But if you and the publisher would like to come forward at some point and justify £6.95 price tag for 1984 for this, when you can't even play it properly, because the curse is all out and the angles and the physics, everything's wrong in this version of snooker. Everything is completely wrong. You're just guessing. You can't see the yellow, you can hardly see the white. Rubbish. So 90 shits for snooker by Visions. Uh, and that was a paid request by William Harrison. Well done, mate. Very good choice. Garbage. I certainly won't be playing that. I shall not only be playing Steve Davis Snooker on the Spectrum after this to get that taste out of my mouth, but I should be going down my local and playing the proper game tonight. So, um, um, yes, that will definitely erase this bad taste. Blech. Right, that's it for me this edition of Shit Game Time. Please leave your comments below and see, let me know if you've either got suckered into buying this game or you've played this game or even think about this game. And uh, any moment now, three sh random Shit Game Time videos will pop up for your enjoyment. Plus one in the top left is where you place your requests. If you've got a game you'd like me to flush down the toilet forever into the vault of shitness, don't be afraid to come forward. Let me call those bastards out, those publishers and poo grammars who tried to sting you for your pocket money on a crap game. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Zeus, thankfully out of Plopsville. <laughs>